everyone and welcome to another deck video here on the Jolly Scarecrows channel. Today I'm presenting a Elemental Hero Stroke Master Hero deck for Master Jewel. If you need the Elemental Heroes or the Master Heroes in the game, you will look to unlock the secret pack, the First Heroes and Transfigured Heroes. And those are the two packs you'll need to make this deck. Um, and yet most of the cards will pretty much be in there, all the fusions and all of your, your monsters. The main premise of the deck is basically around summoning this card, Elemental Hero Sunrise. You can fusion summon it with any two hero monsters, and we're running 20, so you should have the opportunity to do so in your opening hand, barring disruption. Um, and its effect is really nice. It allows you to get a Miracle Fusion from your deck to your hand, and then obviously you can use that Miracle Fusion to uh, fusion summon again by banishing the materials in your graveyard and obviously depending on how you've loaded your graveyard um, you will then have access to a whole range of uh, different elemental heroes um, they vary in terms of their attributes so for example um, this absolute zero requires of water and so for that reason we're running three liquid soldier also because it's great um, when it's normal summon you get to special summon a hero uh, from your graveyard so it's good maybe for your second turn or possibly in the aftermath of having used some kind of discard effect um, your main opener that you're going to want to do if you say say you have the emergency call which lets you search for a hero the one you're going to be wanting to search for more often than not is uh, stratos um, or if you've already got stratos in your hand you're going to be wanting to search for solid soldier so solid soldier lets you special summon an elemental hero and Stratos lets you search for an elemental hero, so you can uh, get Soul Soldier, get Stratos, and then search for another hero. And that could be, um, yeah, a Liquid Soldier to use later, uh, a Blaze Man, which lets you add a Poly from your deck to your hand. Ideally, your first Fusion Summon, you'll want to try and make that with Poly. Uh, and that's because you're then going to be going into Inevitably Sunrise, and that'll let you search for Miracle Fusion, which will let you banish. And then Parallel World Fusion, if you've been able to search for that, will let you use those banished uh, heroes for another fusion and recycle all those heroes back into the deck. So the deck is quite um, it's nice and circular, so you can, you can keep making plays. So yes, in terms of the attributes, um, Absolute Zero is a nice card to play sometimes even before you've brought out the Sunrise, and that's because you can use it as a material for Sunrise. Plus, it has an effect that when it leaves the field, so that's even if it's a, a Miracle Fusion, um, because it works on the field as well as the graveyard, um, or just a poly itself, then you get to uh, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. So if they've got a board already, you're able to wipe it um, just by making that additional fusion summon. Uh, Gaia uses Earth Monsters, so that will be your, your Solid Soldier, and... Um, yeah, that lets you basically have a monster's attack. It's probably not the best one. Um, I personally try and avoid uh, Gaia quite a lot, if at all possible, but you know, sometimes it can get over that boss monster. You'll see a lot of these fusions as we go through them uh, are masked fusions, and I'll get to how those work in a second. Um, the Shining is probably our last normal elemental hero, so that can be made with a light monster, and for that we're running two copies of Honest Neos, which works a little bit like Honest. It gives 2500 attack boost um, if the hero battles. And Neos Alias, um, there's not really a good option for this. Um, we tried a few, maybe Prisma. Um, and honestly, just having the 1900 beta is, um, you know, it takes the cake really for us. So that's why we've got two of those. They're acting as our lights so that we can, we can bring out the Shining. And also how we bring out things like Masked Hero Koga. We do that with our mass change card. So you'll see there's uh, there's two of them here: regular mass change plus mass change two, which has discard effect, and um, and then from change uh, form change, sorry, which uh, lets you mass hero from a, a fusion monster. They work essentially similarly by attribute. So you get to target hero on the field, and then you can change it for a extra deck hero with the same attribute. The best one to summon or to try and get out is Dark Law. It has a wonderful disruption effect on your opponent's turn. So if they're trying to add cards to their uh, to the hand, you get to um, banish a random card instead. So if you're going first, 
my main recommendation is to try and get out uh, a dark law. Um, Acid, very good going second against certain decks, useful in Master Duel because sometimes you'll be playing something with a high amount of, of trap cards. This lets you destroy as many spells and traps as possible and then has a burn effect. Um, so that's that's really nice when you can get that off with, with Solid Soldier, oh, sorry, Liquid Soldier. Um, Anki, this um, it's pretty useful if you know you're able to get, say you've used something like an Acid to get rid of your opponent's potential opportunities to disrupt your attack. Anki can serve really well uh, when it can destroy a monster by battle because it lets you immediately search for a change spell. And um, they're all quick plays, so that means you can do stuff on your opponent's turn as well. You can make some surprise changes. Um, so say your opponent's just setting things, bang, you can go out into acid and make that destruction effect. The last two to mention are your um, overall uh, hero, so this takes three elemental hero monsters. Um, I personally don't rate core too highly, I think you should be trying to use your other ones when able, but it is good with um, either parallel world fusion or miracle fusion, um, just as you know, you've got rid of a whole bunch of things, fine, I'll parallel world fuse into this thing with three. Um, it lets you basically destroy two monsters with its battle phase, and then its main effect is that when it's destroyed, you get to summon um, any of your elemental hero fusions, ignoring the summoning conditions. That's really nice. So that's kind of its main its main play, really, is to recycle your better fusions. Um, and yeah, contra contrast hero chaos made out of two masked hero monsters, which is harder to play. But again, you know, sometimes you can get that even off elemental hero core, and it has a, a once per turn negate. Um, which is which is very nice. Either player's turn as well, and it can work on cards. So this can this can do the field spells, it can do whatever continuous traps, anything you like. Um, I haven't yet mentioned um, how these things differ in terms of the change cards. So mass here, uh, mass change two, uh, it has a discard effect, and um, then you get to summon a mass hero that's higher level than. Um, the hero that you that you sent, and yeah, as I say, form change works on fusion monsters. And other than that, the deck is pretty much self-explanatory. We're running two Ash and three Max C, just because um, that's probably the best uh, ratio we have at this point. Um, if you have another Ash, you can more than happily add it in. Maybe the copy of Neos Alias. Um, I'd, I'd make that recommendation. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all uh, I'd like to cover. Um, we're going to have a replay of this duel in uh, the channel's content coming up for you over the weekend, I believe. And hopefully a couple of new and exciting decks. Um, there'll be some rock decks involved coming to the channel over the next week. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.